Welcome to the Small Business Voice with Justin Duncan and Liberty Santiago on Power Talk 1360 KFIV. The show that talks to small business owners about the best way to practice business in our current day from experienced professionals. Uh, we're here every Saturday at 11 a.m. to 12 noon. And uh, this week we have Todd Kukon, our first uh, out-of-state uh, guest. Uh, he's from uh, Wisconsin. And we have Chris Nichols, um, who is actually one of the God, biggest realtors I know. I mean, just... Um, yeah, he, he's, he's the top performing realtor in our area. He's yeah. with Atlantic Realty. Yeah, and, and these two, um, even though they're in different fields, there's a lot of similarities mm. between the two. It, it's it, it's it, it, you're gonna you're in store for a good show today. Yeah. So one of the similarities is coach, right? Yes. They're both coaches. They're so both we've got coaches, Coach yes. Chris. Uh, that's highly evident in his marketing campaigns. He's you know the realtor coach. Um, so he helps coach other realtors, and he has a lot of leadership. I mean, people are attracted to him, like, hey, Coach Chris, like, how can I do this? Um, and he's always there. He's a great mentor. He is. A, he's a very good, great mentor. I mean, he, and he's so down to earth, too. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the thing. He's so friendly. And he, he just wants to help. Uh, he, he's a giver. You know, he just mm-hmm. wants to help everybody. In, yeah. in their journey. And he also uh, walks the talk, too. He does. He has an incredible personal uh, personal accomplishment that he has over lost over 100 pounds recently. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he was over 400 pounds. He's a, he's a big guy. In, in, he's like 6'3". He's he wonderful. He's tall, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he towers over me. I, I'm a big guy. I'm 6'1", but when I stood next to Chris, I felt like, like a dwarf. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but I mean, to lose a hundred pounds, I mean, that takes a lot of inner discipline. So that's you know, like, really want to talk about him, and he's got tons and tons of accolades, and he's highly respected among our he, Gold Star, yeah, networking group, and among realtors in the Stanislaus County, yeah, he, he's and the surrounding a, areas. He's a celebrity in Turlock, actually. You know, he can't go anywhere without being noticed. Oh, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I even catch him on my bike rides in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. goodness. So how's your week been, Justin? You know, it's been really good. Um, I, I, You know, things are cooking. You know, things are busy. I, I'm, we've been getting a lot of interaction from, you know, Gold Star members and uh, a lot of questions. And, for the show. Uh, for the show. Interest yeah. for the show. Yeah, so it's been great. And then um, it, after our first show, we, we got a interaction from Todd, and Todd's just a great person to talk to. I, I you know, Todd, it, it, it's like talking to like a, um, I don't want to say like a, like a grandfather, but just like a, <laughs> like like Yoda, you know, it felt like, you know. Just, like a guru. Yeah, a guru. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Yeah. And he was, he was pretty, he seems pretty down to earth too. He's very easy to talk to. Yeah, very easy to talk to, very down to earth. I, I, you know, like instantly, like I felt like a friendship kind of forming, hmm. o- o- you know, over these, over these talks. And, uh, I'm, I'm excited to have both of them on today. And, uh, you know, Todd's a motivational speaker. Um, he's actually got, a, he's going to tell us a story later about, uh, a him high, being a coach, huh? Yeah. About him being a coach. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I don't want to give that away, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Our guests, um, business professionals today are talking about real estate and leadership and, you know, here on the small business voice, we're driven to help small business owners to be more successful and better more efficient practices to implement into their growing businesses so that they are thriving and um, providing access to relevant and high quality resources yeah. such as Todd Kukin and Chris Nichols that yeah. we have on today. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking to grow whatever business you're in, these are two people you really want to listen to. So you're listening to Justin Duncan and Liberty Santiago on Power Talk 1360 KFIV. And you can find Liberty at libertybrands.biz. And um, how can we find you, Justin? So right now you can find me on Facebook, Small Business Voice Media. If you have a question or comment, if you mm-hmm. want to learn how to be a guest on the show, you, you can interact with me there. Mm-hmm. Um, leave, you know, leave your email, phone number. Uh, I'd be more than happy to talk with you. Leave an idea for topics, too, for yeah. us. Um, I love social media because, guess what? It's designed for us to be social. It is. What do you guys want to know? <laughs> we want to be um, able to help people. And there might be questions out there that 
you know people want to know the answers to. You might be one of our. Uh, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Next featured guests. Yeah, next featured, but one of our experts, I guess, in, yeah. in the field. Yeah, that that can kind of mm-hmm. share what they've done. You know, like yeah. A, yeah, just like you know, bringing value to the business owners. Exactly. That's what we are all about. And then you know, staying with us through the end of the show, we're going to be talking about you know our community corner, which highlights the community events that are coming up. How can you grow your network? Uh, because it's a little cheesy and cliche, but it's true. Your <laughs> net worth is your network. So got to get that network going on. And it's fun, too. It is. It, and I don't think people will realize how important a network is to have. Mm-hmm. It's it's motivating. It's If you belong to a network and, and you see it for what it is. You know, it's an it, automatic inner circle. Uh, oh, man. And that's awesome. You Support know, team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. I, I do, too. Yeah. So as a personal and professional development um, person myself, bringing intuitive business consulting to my clients um, and being known as the manifestation mentor, I'm really excited to bring <laughs> um, some topics to the table. We have later on, we are going to be talking about positioning your offer, which this has to do with marketing. But I like to highlight the mindset that you need to be able to position your way um, to be top of mind and the most magnetic to your potential clients. Well, and you and you have experience in that field, so that's perfect for you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I have felt like marketing is just something that has come really natural, and it comes natural when you're really passionate about what you're doing. And it's all about using your voice. And that's something that is one of my core desired feelings is to be seen and heard. And so I love helping my clients and um, their messages yeah. to be seen and heard. Well, I know you've been seen, you know, because I, I actually have a lot of male friends on Facebook. That, hey, hey, who's that blonde you're on the radio show? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to oh. know what the most common answer is? What? Your marital status. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, they want to know. They do, yes. Yes. So if you want to check out Liberty, you can go to LibertyBrands.biz. <laughs> yes, yes. And you can find us, The Small Business Voice, on Facebook, The Small Business Voice Media Facebook page. And you're here listening on Power Talk 1360 KFIV. We are here talking with Todd Kukin of ToddKukin.com, and we are talking about corporate culture. And if you are loving the show, please send us a message on our Facebook page. Click and like us on the Small Business Voice Media Facebook page. Well, welcome, Todd. Good to see you. Good to hear your voice. <laughs> How are you doing today, Todd? Doing awesome. Doing awesome. All Things right. are going great here in, in uh, Wisconsin and uh, looking forward to chatting with you, too. Yeah, you're a first out-of-state uh, guest that we've had, so we're excited. We're very excited to have you. Yes. Well, I'm glad it's a Badger fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited to talk about corporate culture coming from a background myself of being uh, in a traditional job 9 to 5. It would be really nice to have um, your thought leadership in the aspect of corporate culture. Yeah, so to, to give a little bit of, of, of a background on Todd, he was a basketball coach, and he got into motivational speaking. So um, how did you get into motivational speaking, and how did you get into being a keynote speaker? Uh, about four or five years ago, I was introduced to the John Maxwell team through somebody who's become a, a great friend and got involved with a lot of his uh, readings and different seminars, went to his conferences, and really saw that as an opportunity for me to grow in an area that I hadn't thought much about in my career before. So yeah, through their organization and now through many others, I've just I've got that confidence where I feel comfortable standing in front of folks and, and giving you know keynote speak, speeches. I talk a lot about culture corporate culture, and I think that's so critical in the workplace right now, particularly for talent attraction and talent retention, That those challenges that we're all facing in the business world. Yes, absolutely. So how did you make your decision your- to leave your job and make this side gig your full-time passion? 
Yeah, everybody kind of looks at me a little cross-eyed, thinking like, why in the world would you do that? <laughs> Particularly if you could see me, I'm closer to 100 than I am to zero. But I uh, really just developed this passion and, and saw how some of the social media posts that I did, some of the different speaking engagements, some of the training that I do, how it's really, really impacted. And my job were kind of, I had to balance the two and it was getting to a point where I had to make a decision. And again, I'm really passionate about, about leadership and made the decision about a month ago to, to step aside and resign. We're gonna do a smooth transition in the organization so that they'll end up you know, in a good spot. But uh, as of early November, I'll be full-time into my transformational leadership, speaking, teaching, training, coaching, and, and working with businesses on their corporate culture. Yes, that's so helpful, you know, because we have, like you said, this attraction for talent. And if the corporate culture does not have a foundational, you know, welcoming uh, growth mindset and all that, um, I believe that could be felt and seen by the talent that's coming in. And, you know, like you said, for the uh, retention, it costs companies more money to hire new talent than it does to keep the ones that they have. Um, I believe we could all agree on that. Yeah, absolutely. You're listening to Justin Duncan and Liberty Santiago on Power Talk 1360 KFIB, and we are speaking with Todd Kukon. Uh, Todd, um, what are some of the things that gave you the confidence to make this jump? Well, throughout my journey the last four years, I've been involved with a lot of small group roundtables. And in those roundtables, we focus on some different themes. And one of those themes is is core values. And it's really an exercise, about an hour-long exercise, that helps you identify your corporate values. Mine happen to be optimism, trust, honesty, enthusiasm, and teamwork. So through that, it really gave me a great foundation to continue to move forward and looking more at the balance of my life, what are the things that are important to me, looking at my inner circle, those people that are making the greatest impact at me, trying to stretch my my comfort zone and, and bust through fear. And over the course of time, through my my training others to do that, really helped me to gain the confidence to make this jump in, in my career and make a jump into making my side gig my, my full-time opportunity. Mm, I love that. So something I want to touch on that you said was about fear. Um, as a thought leader, can you give me what you believe fear to be? Well, I think in some ways it's simply a distraction. Uh, in other ways, I think fear is all is revolving around fail. And I think we're not allowed as uh, sometimes as children growing up or particularly along our journey to fail or fail as seeing, being seen as something negative. But if you look at the most successful people in the world, you look at great athletes. It's great baseball players only hit one out of every three times. Edison, I think, took like 10,000 times before he invented the actual light bulb. So I think without failure, it's really difficult to learn and grow. So it's come to the point where I've accepted that. Now, there's a subtle difference, too. There's a there's fail, which is which is fine. But if you become a failure, that's a whole different challenge that you have to work through. But people have to understand and realize that, that to fail is something that happens to all of us every day. Think of when you were a little baby trying to walk. How many times did you fall on your behind, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's all part of that, and your willingness to accept it and grow through that, and then have the people around you that can support you along the way. So how do you mentally prepare to go through life's obstacles? Well, I just know that what's going to be on the other side is going to be better. Either it's going to be enhanced or it's going to be something that I'll, I'll maybe struggle through and learn more. And I, I had a situation uh, earlier in the year when I was doing some online training, and after the first of three sessions, the HR director said, wait, we gotta, we got to put a stop on this. we got some, some thoughts about it. We need to change direction. And normally I would have, like, crumbled in the corner, right? But I just decided I've got my five core values. I'm going to lean on those. This is going to work out for the better. And we met with their team. I met with them. We created a different focus on the training. We presented the training and had a much better outcome in, in the long run. And I think that's because I had my core values to lean on. So, mm -hmm. Sometimes we do that and don't even realize that there are core values are there to help us through a failure or get us out of the comfort zone. Sometimes in the case that I just, uh, the example I gave, we really need to lean on them and say, you know what, everything's going to be okay. It's We're going to come out better and stronger on the other side. And, and in that particular case, we did. I love that. Um, and the thread of truth that I heard there is that you were willing to listen to your client and um, make some adaptability, you know, happen there. So, 
And it was really yeah, a moment for you to. Yeah, like listening it. is such a, such an underutilized skill. I mean, that's so critical <laughs> and important. And everybody seems to want to talk over each other, like I just did with you there, Liberty. But <laughs> oh. everybody seems to want to talk or post over people, and and just kind of like not to be mean, but just like shut up and listen. You can learn so much, and it's going to help you and mm -hmm. your client in the long run. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if this is like part of your wheelhouse, part of your uh, lingo, but it's definitely a good balance between masculine and feminine energy. Uh, to listen is to lean back into the feminine and masculine is to, you know, assert yourself and the task oriented, but um, there's harmony in between the two. It's a beautiful dance. You told me a story um, last Monday about a connection with a high school player that you coached before. Um, and we have a couple minutes. Can you tell us that story real quick? Yeah, sure. So I was, I've done a lot of posting uh, on social media. I'm out there quite a bit every day. I'm trying to post something. And somebody uh, contacted me, reached out to me about working with their company with uh, DISC, the behavioral assessment. Turns out he was a, a player that I coached in high school when I was at Monroe High School. I'm not going to tell you how many years ago, but it was, <laughs> it was a couple decades, I will say that. And uh, he said, yeah, Todd, I've seen your post. And, and as we talked more, he said, you know, Todd, when I was in high school, you put me in the position late in the season to start. And he said, I really learned a lot from that opportunity, how to, how to never give up, how to keep growing, how to keep trying. And he said, you made such an impact on me. And now this is an opportunity for me to give back to you and bring you in and to work with our, with our company on disc assessments and, and grow leaders and, and build a corporate culture. So really, it really made me feel obviously very well that I even made that kind of an impact. And then for him to reach out so many years later to have me come work with his company where he's a vice president was really an honor. Yeah, definitely. Um, for the people who don't understand what the DISC profile is, could you give not necessarily the carrot, but the cake of it? Like, why is that so important? What does it do? Well, it's a chance. It's a 15 minute assessment, and it's like a third party look at at who you are and your behaviors. So. By taking the test and having somebody sit down and walk through you with it, do some group work with it, which I'm doing with this company, it really gives a chance to look at your communication, your work style. And then as you learn more about yourself, that's going to help you work with others because you'll understand and appreciate and respect them because everybody has a different style and how they work. And if we can figure out our own style and then how can we work better with others and bring them into our style, again, going back to the corporate culture concept, Liberty, it really can help with the communication, the workplace. And uh, you can also create action plans out of a DISC assessment as well. So lots of great tools to use from that. Yeah, I love that. Can I ask you what your DISC profile is? <laughs> I'm an I with a little S and a little less C. Oh, I love that. Can you guess what I am? <laughs> I would guess you probably have a lot of I as well with a little bit of D. You nailed it. Wow. <laughs> yes, I have uh, had two interactions with different employers who had me take the DISC assessment. And I actually do use this as part of my client work as well. Um, but I don't study it to the depth that you do. So you are definitely somebody I could learn from. So I am so grateful that you are here and um, that you have been an amazing resource for businesses who are looking to up level their corporate culture. And you can contact Todd Kukin at toddkukin.com and you can also reach him by phone 715-498-4979 Thank you so much for coming on today Todd we really appreciate it it was a blast. Great to talk to you. I'm so honored to be the first out-of-state guest. All so, right. You know, if, you send, if, you send, if you send me a plaque, I'll put it up in my new office. We'll work on that for you. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys. Yes. Thank you, Todd. This is the Small Business Voice. I'm Liberty Santiago here with Justin Duncan. So, Liberty, what, what is a disassessment? Because I, I had no clue what that was. It was like you're speaking another language when you're talking about that. <laughs> Absolutely. So the DISC assessment is a behavior self-assessment tool, and it was originally based on the 1928 DISC emotional behavioral theory. And this is something that you would want to give yourself a good 15 minutes, take the test, and the test is going to tell you, based on your responses, what your dominant personality behavior traits are. And there's four main quadrants. Um, C stands for compliance, and this is somebody who is creative, enjoyable, objective, patient, impulsive, outgoing, harmonious. Generally speaking, they have a willingness. 
And um, these are going to be like your counselors. S is for steadiness. And these are going to be like your practitioners. These are self-sufficient, independent, adaptable, coachable, peaceful people, inspirational. And then you have your I for influence. These are like your celebrities, your people who are helping to be socially individualists, specialized, willing, result-oriented. They like to calculate also. And D for dominance, this is the one that has the lowest percentage for male and female. If you identify with a D, you're a leader. So your place of employment or your position in how you make money should be as a leader. This would be like a CEO, operational director, supervisor, manager, those types of people. Mm. They're the workers. They're a persuader. They're also perfectionist. And they're very analytical. Okay. Wow. So much to learn. Yeah. I want to know what yours is. So we'll have you head over to TonyRobbins.com <laughs> and take your free okay. disc assessment so I'll I can you know. see where you're at. Because <laughs> I already know I'm a high I and a D. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you're listening to Justin Duncan and Liberty Santiago on Power Talk 1360 KFIB. We have a treat for you. We have Chris Nichols with Atlantic Realty. Yeah, you know, I've known Chris now for a few years, and uh, he's a celebrity in Turlock, <laughs> <laughs> Turlock, California, and growing his his uh, fame in, in Modesto, California, also. So, uh, Chris, uh, give give us your bio, because right? I know I've, I've heard the story. You you were a teacher at one time, and you transitioned into realty in two thousand four. Go go ahead and tell us your bio a little bit. My favorite thing was sports. I was a basketball guy. I played college ball at six foot seven, so I love competition and I love anything that has to do with competition. And so right after school, I did a condensed program with the master's in teaching credential program, which allowed me to uh, continue my education and teach at the same time. I was considering going to law school, but that summer uh, I fell into real estate and I absolutely loved it. And so it gave me the competition and it allowed me to also coach basketball at the same time. So it just gave me an opportunity and the avenue to uh, really focus on my skill set, which is people. Mm, yes. So we are going to be talking today with you, Chris, about how to stand out as a leader, top of market in this current real estate climate. Because if we're being honest, there are way more realtors than there are houses to sell. Am I right? Yeah, that's true. But in any market, any market, I'm talking about across the country, the, the top 20% of all the business or the top 80% of the business is done by all the top 20% of the agents that work. So yeah, you know, the, the market is high and, and people are getting their license, but you have to remember only one out of every 10 agents stays longer than five years. So if you're looking at that, that is, that is a, horrible statistic so you know you don't look at it as as so many agents out there i remember in 2005 and 2006 there are so many people coming in and i remember we had uh 18 000 agents from from Sherlock to sacramento and by 2009 we went to 18 000 agents i, I think we had 2100 you know so Ooh. it's it's worth it it goes in waves it goes in waves and so we are we are going to start hitting that wave again here pretty soon, and so I think with with that wave coming, it doesn't matter if there's so many people there. It's hustlers are going to hustle, you know. And so, you know, if there's if there's not enough uh, agents for for all the sellers out there, then why do I have multiple sales? Why do I have twenty plus homes in escrow right now? You know, and it doesn't mean that new agent can't go do one or two, but it's the longevity and it's the grind and it's the hustle every day. It was, it was funny. Someone said, Chris, what's the difference between, you know, motivation and discipline? And I think that's the difference. You know, I, I said this morning, anybody can watch a video and they can get motivated. They'll work out, they'll do some business, they'll create their own business. But the discipline, the discipline is where you stay in the suck. That is Doing stuff you don't want to every day, you know, going up, making those calls, and that is the grind. That's the grind I'm talking about. That's a little bit, a little bit different than the motivation. The grind sucks, but if you learn how to love that suck, that is where the hustler comes in. 
loving the sucky grind. That's it. Wow. That, that's some powerful advice. I, I, I love that, actually. I'm going to take that to heart, Chris, just so you know. For now, sure. you, you you survived not only the pandemic, but you also survived 2008. So what what, uh-huh. what advice can you give to other realtors? Well, the first advice I'd have to give to other realtors is whatever you do, it could be marketing, it could be, it could be, you know, networking, it could be Miller's, you know, uh, Instagram, whatever you do, stick to it. You know, so I've, I've seen it now almost two decades where I've seen people who try to do something and they'll just quit. Now, for example, I'll say, you know, I joined, here's, here's a great one. I, I, this is how I met you guys. I joined Gold Star. And the first three years, I didn't get one sell out of it. But I know I'm a little bit different. I know that you got to keep going and keep going and keep going. So on my fourth year, now I think I'm the biggest uh, referred Gold Star individual out of Gold Star where I do um, just $300,000 plus of commissions with a referral just out of Gold Star. And so um, now that is what I, I really tell other agents who are looking to get in this business. Do whatever you can. But remember, whatever you can do, you got to stick to it. It's you want to be you don't want to be a puddle. You want to be an ocean, you know, because guess what happens <laughs> to puddles? They dry it's up. Not puddles. Yeah. But but an ocean Man, you're going to swim forever. And so focus on being that ocean and not a puddle because we're all water. We all have the same ability. You and I put our shoes on the same way. You know, we put one sock in at a time. But the difference is after my socks are on and my shoes are on, I'm running and you're mm-hmm. crawling. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That is so great. I love that so much. So we are here talking with Chris Nichols of Atlantic Realty about positioning yourself as a leader or expert in today's real estate market or, quite frankly, any market that you're in. I'm here with Justin Duncan. I'm Liberty Santiago on the Small Business Voice on Power Talk 1360 KFIV. You can contact Chris Nichols of Atlantic Realty. By calling his office, 209-668-0501. You can also reach him on the web, homes at Atlantic.com. Yeah, and you know what, Chris, that that third year, um, that must be the magic number because that's where I'm really seeing my business take off within Gold Star, too. So I guess it's that three, that's the persistence that we have um, in order to make things work. Oh, well, that, that's good news for me because my year one in Gold Star has been good. That's good, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I know you focus a lot into marketing. How much money do you put into marketing? Oh, that's a great question. So when it comes to marketing, you know, one thing I always tell new agents is, would you rather pay yourself or pay Uncle Sam? Because you're going to get that bill at the end of the year, and you're saying, why am I paying 25 30% to Uncle Sam? Unless you could put that 25 to 30% back towards yourself you know so would you rather pay yourself or uncle sam so that's a great question when it comes to uh marketing and advertising what people don't realize is i tell all these new agents all these young agents all the time is advertising is a hundred percent tax deductible and what happens is we are so slow to make that step forward to to pay that money because we're like oh my gosh i gotta pay my rent or i got a credit card i gotta pay or my transmission is going to go out. But what you don't realize is if you really hit hard and you put that 25 to 30 percent back into your business for those first two to three years, you're going to start from going from your income 60 to 80,000. The second year, 100,000. So it's going to jump up to a quarter million in your third year. Yeah. Just because you invest in yourself. You have to invest in yourself to move forward. And so many people would be like, it's like, hey, you know, what's the secret? What's the secret? There is no secret. It is just love yourself, know what you are, and be persistent. And so, and with that, the advertising on top, that's a part of the persistence that you have to have to make sure that you can move forward so you can be very successful in this industry. I feel like I'm being coached right now, actually. You know, you got that coaching. <laughs> the, the, you are being coached. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are being coached. Yeah. Well, I have a, a lasered focus question for you. So, Please. with the marketing. Where would you tell somebody to go and put their money, put their investment? Where is that? Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, where is that? Well, it goes back to what I said earlier. It goes to whatever you think works for you. 
I'm a big believer on tracking. I track everything so I know where my return goes. It got to the point where I got so addicted to tracking where I was doing Mellers and I was doing color coded Mellers in the mail and I responded to see which color did best and which color opened up. And which is really funny is, can you guys guess what color people opened up the most? Blue. Take a walk, guys. Blue. No. Red? Pink, because they oh. think it's a bill. So I thought that was really funny. Oh, because, wow. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever see those emergency notices? Like, yes. oh, pink. <laughs> but you put pink, people open it up. Okay, and, so we're all writing uh, that I down, pink. <laughs> right. And one thing uh, that I also realized from that is, you know, people love handwritten letters. So many people, how many times do you get a letter like, oh, it's a computer, but when you get a handwritten letter, man, you think it's special. So we were writing probably 100,000 handwritten letters a year from uh, wow. just from my office with my team, 100,000 letters a year. And so um, that worked really, really well. It was a huge response. And like I said, we track all the color and we track exactly where our where our um, numbers were coming from so we could we could reproduce those numbers again and again and again. Oh, goodness. Thank you so much, Chris Nichols of Atlantic Realty. You can reach him at 209-668-0501 and homes at Atlantic.com. And check out what we're up to on our website, smallbusinessvoicemedia.com, and see what we are working on for you next. All right. And then, Chris, also, you have a website, www.wehelpeverybody.com. That's correct. All uh-huh. right. Chris, thank you for coming on. You're listening to Justin Duncan and Liberty Santiago on Power Talk 1360 KFIV. And we are here today talking about corporate culture and networking and leadership and all these wonderful things. You can find us on Facebook at the Small Business Voice Media Facebook page. Leave us a comment. Tell us a topic that you'd like to hear about. And apply to be a guest. And you can also find me, Liberty Santiago, your intuitive business consultant, at libertybrand.biz. So, community announcements. So, this week we have Gold Star Regional Meetings weekly, every day of the week. Go to meetup.com for listing and details. Liberty's is Tuesday at 12 p.m. over at uh, Marie Calendars. And mine is on Thursday um, over at Skewers in Modesto. Yeah, so if you want to visit us at our networking club, you are absolutely welcome to do that. And just be like, where's Justin? Where's yes. Liberty? And we're, we'll meet with you in person, and we will share in friendship and referrals with you. Absolutely, because that's what we're, you know, we want to, we, I like the relationships personally. But, yeah. But I love referrals too. So, <laughs> <laughs> so each month we have a holistic chamber meeting. Uh, the third Wednesday of each month at 6.30 p.m. at the Dragonfly Art Studio for Life in downtown Modesto. That is on J Street. We have Turlock Young Professionals the fourth Thursday of each month at 4.30 p.m. at the Grand Crew on Main Street in Turlock. And then we also have a special event, Community Healing Day. And this is by the Holistic Chamber also, October 2nd, uh, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Seasons. Uh, and that's at 945 McHenry Avenue in Modesto. California. Yeah, let me tell you why you want to go to this event. Um, This is where you are going to find um, energy healing. Um, We as humans are evolving creatures, and um, we want to ascend our awareness, our self-awareness, our spiritual awareness, all these things. And when you go to this event, you will be bathed in high frequency. You will find like-minded, high-vibing individuals that are there to support you. We're going to do a sound bath, and then you're also going to have a (laughs) rapid-fire vision board workshop with myself. I say rapid-fire because it's only 20 minutes, and usually that's like a 40-minute presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer the people who want to... Um, a copy of the Vision Board magazine that I'm featured in. And this has over 10,000 images. It's $25. Oh, nice. Take it home. Take the concepts that we're going to discuss during the workshop, and you can make your own Vision Board right at home. And always you can reach out to me if you have any questions about that. Yeah. So, And also, if you come to any of these events, um, remember to bring your business cards. And if you need new ones, call Kim or Sue at Vision Graphics in Modesto. Her number is 209-527-7371. Yeah, let me tell you about business cards. 
you need a thousand business yeah. cards. Um, they and, go quick. Yeah, I learned yeah. that from Kim or Sue. And at first I was like, a thousand? That sounds like a grandiose number. Like, wow. But all the networking events that I go to, all the interactions that I have with people, I have at least an inch of business cards in my purse. I have two pockets right in the front. I have one side is my yeah. business cards, and the other side is the business cards that I collect. So um, you should definitely yeah. carry them with you. Be prepared at all times. This is you are your brand. You yeah. are your business. You want to present yourself. I, I carry mine around in a holster, so that way I have it right here, and I just <laughs> you know and I'm like ready the to, Wild West, like the Wild West. Yes. <laughs> all right. And so. we're and we're saying you need about a thousand. <laughs> A thousand rounds. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you go to one of these events, um, let me tell you about Deborah Dupree. She's given me a Reiki treatment um, a couple times. And if you don't know what Reiki is, you got to check it out. It, it's something else. But I had one set up, and it was ironic because I ran into my ex-girlfriend right right before my treatment. And I, I just brought me a lot of bad energy. <laughs> and uh, so, I, so I actually saw Deborah that day, and so it, it's you're on a massage table, but she doesn't touch you. It's just it's all the energy around you. She's she's a channel for the energy. She's a channel for the energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only the only time she touched me was she saw that my feet needed attention, mm -hmm. and man, when she went to my feet, man, I was out like a light. I woke <laughs> up about two hours later. <laughs> yeah, um, Deborah is really talented. She is certified in selenite swords of light, and she can help activate the chakras and clear your energy. Um, and she is basically a channel medium. Um, and she can help you with spiritual readings, uh, oracle and tarot. She is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to this stuff. So i um, really grateful that she is a part of both Gold Star and the Holistic Chamber. And you'll find her at the Community Healing Day on October 2nd. We had, we had a hell of a show today. I, I want to personally thank uh, Todd Kukon, toddkukon.com, T-O-D-D, -D, and then K U C K K H A N dot com. And also um, Chris Nichols with Atlantic Realty. Um, so, as an intuitive business consultant, I'm going to bring you guys uh, three quick tips on positioning your offer. Um, this affects your success as a growing business or startup entrepreneur because if you fail to highlight what makes your offer or your product special, then everyone else fails to see what makes it special. So tip number one is to sell the cake, not the carrot. Your customers often are not attracted to the fine details. And this is a funny story that I just want to run through really quick. I used to work for an oral surgeon. And when I was thinking through this tip, I was like, you know, it's so true. Nobody calls up the surgeon's office and says, hey, how many steps does it take to get my wisdom teeth pulled out? No. Right? Nobody even wants to know the details. They no. just, you know. How much Novocaine can you give me? Yeah. 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 It, so <laughs> just think about that. You know, where what you want to sell is the results, the transformation. What are What's in it for them? If you fail to let them see that, then you're, they're likely going to go to the competitors. You're absolutely right. Awesome. All right. Really quick. Tip number two. What about your product or service is unique? If your messaging is off, you're not attracting the business that you want. And this just really comes down to, you know, do you give yourself permission to find out what's really unique and special about you, even if it's quirky, even if it's weird? Highlighting that is really important. You know, if your majority of your support is, let's say, you know, your Hispanic community or your religious community, you know, you want to highlight those things and, yeah. you know, talk about how you impact and how you support these nonprofits affiliated with these particular types of organizations. You know, I was listening to an interview with Kevin Hart. Uh, oh, I love that guy. Yeah. And uh, he was talking about what, before you make it big, um, when you're trying to get, you know, to that status, 
you're a little bit more edgy. You're a little bit more taking chances. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people need to do. I think it's great. He wasn't giving advice, but he was basically kind of giving advice without really doing that. But you have to take some chances. You have to, you know, you have to bet on yourself. You have to Right. Put yourself out there, and uh, if it doesn't work, then you go back to the drawing board and try again. Right. You know, it took me a good 18 months to really start calling myself an intuitive business consultant. And why that's so different is because I don't offer cookie-cutter solutions. I listen, and that is something that's underutilized, but um, that we heard again from Todd Kukin. It's an underutilized skill, so listening is really important. So my third and final tip for positioning yourself to be top of mind, top of market, is stick with it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you're going to be known for, that one thing, don't be afraid to add more services to your menu, but just stick to the one thing that you do really well. And your current clients, your current customers are going to refer others and they're going to already see when they walk in the door or already see when they start interacting with you that you're not just the one thing. So that's a marketing tip. Yeah, that's so true. Three years and, and counting. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So inspiring quote, which just so happens to be a thread of our show today is amazing things will happen when you listen to the consumer. Jonathan... Middenhall, CMO of Airbnb, and I think he knows what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> so you can contact Liberty Santiago at www.libertybrand.biz. Do you have a community event that's coming up that you want us to highlight on the show? Be sure to leave a comment on our Facebook page, The Small Business Voice Media, and you can check out our website, Small Business Voice Media dot com. Yes, I want to thank our guest, Todd Kukon, with ToddKukon.com and Chris Nichols of Atlantic Realty at HomesAtlantic.com and WeHelpEverybody.com. Thank you for coming on the show again. For Liberty Santiago, I'm Justin Duncan with the Small Business Voice. Now, let's take care of business, and we will see you next week. See you next week. Now, where'd you get that platinum chain with them diamonds in it? Where'd you